Hi guys, it's Peg, and I'm just getting ready for the live show on Art Joy Sharing. Uh, we do this each week. Chelsea and I do a live show on our sister channel, Art Joy Sharing. And I've got some stuff out on my desk. Um, I had tried to do some masking with some masking fluid, and my masking fluid was not the best. So I've got some new, but I, I don't have time for it to dry down today. So I'm just showing this piece that I had started on to get ready for today, and that wasn't happening. So I'm grabbing the mood board. This is a graphic that we provide to the members of Art Joyous Sharing Facebook group. So if you want to get our graphics, just go over there and you can print them out there in uh, the file folder there each month. And this is the uh, book that I had started with color inspiration. And since this is a mood board, I'm just going to glue in some of these images from the mood board for the month of April. This is a great way to get inspired anytime you're not sure what direction you want to go. You can just pick up this book and look at it and get inspired by the colors, the shapes, the imagery, whatever. And uh, I typically go to my paints and inks and try to get some things off the shelf that are going to go with this particular color palette. Um, Shell was doing a sunflower, you know, seems like a sunflower season. And, you know, the first color I picked was way too red, so I changed it out to a blackberry, I believe. Yeah, blackberry. Um, these are Dina Wakely Media Paints. I used blackberry. I used lapis, heather, uh, lemon, and then I also grabbed a golden Indian yellow hue. These are all acrylic paints. That you can get from your local craft store. So um, just going to put that down and then I'm going to grab some um, ink. I've got I've got ink pads and I want to you know swatch out a few ink pads because you know you never know if you're going to use ink, if you're going to use uh, crayons, if you're going to use uh, acrylic, whatever. This is a, a cup I'm showing them that Shell and I had swapped. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just getting some of that paint down on a piece of watercolor paper and I'm just sprayering it down because I want to create a background first. So what I do is I work back and forth between the light and the dark and, you know, I'm just putting a very light coating of this paint down, very small amount and brayering it out so that you can see the colors underneath that they're they have time to dry in between and they're not blending out and just making a blurry mess but um, you're getting the layers of color so I'm going to continue to work with my color palette layering and layering and layering <laughs> and uh, once I have all of my layers on there then I will come back with some imagery. And because Shell was doing the flower, I decided that the dancing lady was what I was going to work with today. So um, I have some stamps, some of my, you know, old all time favorite ones. I don't even know that any of this stuff is available anymore. You could draw this image yourself easily enough, but I'm going to stamp this. and. Uh, what I should have done is just cut an image out of some foam and, and done my own stamp for this. But, yeah, I'm stamping it. It's not working out the best, so I'm going to add some color on a brush and fill in the image. You can see that this individual is taking a leap and uh, dancing around the page. So I was looking for a quote. Um, I found one that I liked. It's from Leo uh, Biscaglia. Leo Biscaglia. And uh, so I'm going to, because our 
theme for the month of April was creative lettering. I wanted to do some creative lettering on this background piece. So I'm just continuing to add some stamping for some texture. And then I'm looking through a book trying to find a quote. I found a quote that I like. And so I'm going to get my, uh, what do you call them? acrylic paint pen and start uh, writing out my quote. Okay, so another project. Uh, I had this piece of paper that I had started, you know, it's a month long, not a month long, three month long actually, um, Stencil Girl products uh, issued a challenge for 100 days of Stencil Girl. And so I've been using stencils every day. Um, this one is a mask and stencil combo. And I'm just taking those same colors that we had. I had a piece of paper that I had stenciled and stamped on for yesterday and so now I'm adding another layer to this with the inks that I have out on my desk. Um, just want to add some depth around here so I've got I've got that much done and then I'm showing them how you can line this back up again because you know when you've got something like this it's sometimes quite difficult to get your stencil and mask to line back up again uh, when you want to use them in combination. So um, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, well, what do I want to do with this? Well, I think I want to add a quote. So I've got these sticker quotes and I'm just going to stick that down and I'm going to build a greeting card out of this because uh, why not? You know, it's a nice little size uh, card. I've got some 
uh, greeting cards is already cut and ready to go. So I'm going to grab several different colors of layering papers. Um, I like to do this. I think I think matting your artwork uh, gives it so much more dimension. So I'm going to use three different colors of mats and mat this up and make a card. So I hope you're playing along with Art Joya Sharing. I hope you are following uh, Shell C on YouTube and Instagram and everywhere and our hashtag. Use our hashtag if you're doing these prompts so that we can find what you're doing. So I'm just starting to cut down my layers here. And you know if you're if you're not if you're new to Art Joya Sharing and you want to join you know, just hit the button to join and answer a few simple questions and we'll get you added to the group and then you can start with all of the challenge that we have there. Um, you can share your artwork and we'd love to have you. It's a safe place to be and share your art. So just fun, just a lot of fun. So there's the card, there's the uh, page there's the uh, mood board for the month. And that's about it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope you are making plenty of art and keeping yourself busy in these times of trouble. And in a world where you can be anything, just remember to be kind. Thanks, everybody.